Finding an old hammer you lost 10 years ago would be surprising to anyone working the land for a living. But in the case of Argentinian farmer Juan de Dios Soda, he stumbled across something even wilder. After noticing an unusually large lump jutting out of the earth, his life changed instantly. Soon enough, his farm was overrun with scientists just dying for a glimpse at his once-in-a-lifetime find. Farmer uncovers strange rock formation that scientists are struggling to explain. This certainly came as a surprise for Juan, as on the day in question, the humble farmer was simply bringing his cattle to pasture. With a recent drought having swept through the area, there was now more room than ever for his livestock to graze. Even so, Juan's cattle were particularly drawn to the riverbeds of the Valamanca. While normally flooded with abundant rainwaters, the beds of the small stream now stood cracked and desert dry. But as Juan shepherded his livestock along the riverbed, he nearly tripped over a strange lump in the dirt. Initially, Juan just assumed he'd bumped into a rock that is, until he decided to take a closer look. The rock was covered in a distinct organic pattern, almost as if it had once belonged to some kind of living being. With this inkling in mind, Juan knew this wasn't something to keep to himself. A team of local archaeologists quickly arrived on the scene, whereupon they made a second startling discovery. Whatever this creature was, it seemed to have had some company. Alongside the first mass, the archaeologists unearthed a second object, this one bigger than the last. This led the team to further excavate the riverbank, and, boy, were they happy they did so. Four of the large, shell-like objects emerged from the dirt, and at first sight, the archaeologists couldn't help but feel that these strange masses had belonged to a group of creatures some people even keep as pets. Tortoises. After all, what other animal would need shells as large as these? But upon further study, the archaeologists realized these enormous casings couldn't have belonged to any animal that walks the earth today or even thousands of years ago. No, the researchers were certain these shells belonged to a group of gliptodons, prehistoric creatures that roamed South America some 30 million years ago. In fact, gliptodons are the ancestors of modern-day armadillos, though not quite as adorable. Gliptodons were enormous armored mammals, the average of which stood 5 feet tall, 11 feet in length, and weighed upward of 2 tons. To put that into perspective, most of these creatures were roughly the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. Along with its thick bony shell, gliptodons also possessed heavily armored heads and tails that could be wielded as weapons. Unfortunately, these protective measures simply weren't enough. Gliptodons faced heavy predation from larger creatures, and even early humans hunted them to use their shells for shelter. By the beginning of the Holocene epoch roughly 10,000 years ago the last of the gliptodons had gone extinct. But while shells like these had been unearthed in South America prior to Juan's discovery, very rarely were multiple gliptodons found together. In that respect, finding four of them in one location was truly something for the history books. It is the first time there have been four animals like this in the same site, explained Pablo Messino, one of the on-site archaeologists. Most of them were facing the same direction like they were walking towards something. With that in mind, these creatures were clearly traveling together, almost like a prehistoric family. In fact, the archaeologists even surmised that these four gliptodons could have been a mother and father leading their young. Not only did this open up the possibility of a familial hierarchy existing amongst these creatures, but it also called into question whether sexual dimorphism played a role in their development. Given that the fossilized shells varied in size, it's very possible that gender determined how big a gliptodon could grow. These kinds of cases, in which several individuals together who died in the same circumstances, are really exceptional and undoubtedly will give us a lot of information about these enigmatic animals, and will allow us to test several hypotheses that we have been driving in recent years, shared site paleontologist Ricardo Benini. Benini and his team worked diligently to completely excavate the gliptodon remains, as actually moving the thousand-pound shells will require another round of intense effort. But once the family of four is ready to roll, big plans have already been set for them. The gliptodons will be transported to the Institute of Archaeological and Paleontological Investigations of the Pampa Quaternary, Incuapaconisit, for examination and DNA testing. 
Researchers hope that further study will reveal additional insight into their lives, including their sex, exact age, and cause of death. Juan de Dios Soda takes pride in knowing that his accidental discovery has brought researchers one step closer to understanding the gliptodon. He knew his discovery, along with another significant one nearby, would help paint a greater picture of the past. That discovery was revealed shortly after Juan's in a report published in the scientific journal Nature Ecology and Evolution. In that account, researchers from the Universidad Nacional de San Juan, the Universidad Nacional de Rio Negro and the Museo Paleontológico Egidio Ferruglio summarized the incredible discovery. Apparently, a team of experts was working at a dig site in Bal de Lays, an area of geological interest located some 680 miles west of Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. And there, they discovered remains that have turned what we know about dinosaur evolution on its head. According to the paper, excavators found both a number of vertebrae and some leg bones from an as yet undiscovered dinosaur. It's thought that the remains belonged to a young creature that had not reached its adult size, although the animal is still estimated to have been as much as 23 feet in length. And, amazingly, it's believed that the dinosaur could have ultimately grown to as large as 33 feet and weighed in at a staggering 10 tons. It is also the earliest dinosaur ever discovered to exhibit the trait of gigantism. Previously, Experts accepted that giant dinosaurs first emerged during the early Jurassic period between 174 and 201 million years ago. At around this time, a mass extinction occurred, killing off some 50% of all life on our planet. And in the new world that emerged after this catastrophic event, some dinosaurs were able to reach colossal proportions. Some of the most famous giant dinosaurs to emerge during the Jurassic period were the long-necked sauropods Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus. Additionally, the group included Argentinosaurus, Patagodotan, and Rhydnotus, some of the largest animals the world has ever seen. However, it's thought that this new dinosaur is a member of a group called Sauropodomorphs, which means lizard foot form. And the huge beast is considered to have lived during the Triassic period prior to the mass extinction some 30 million years, then, before Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus were around. Enthused, the researchers have dubbed the new dinosaur Ingentia prima, meaning first giant in Latin. As soon as we found it, we realized it was something different explained the Universidad Nacional de San Juan's Cecilia Appledetti. We found a shape the first giant one among the dinosaurs. That's the surprise. And that wasn't all. Amazingly, it's believed that Ingentia prima developed its huge size in a manner totally independent to that of the later sauropods, meaning the emergence of gigantism was not just a singular event in dinosaur evolution. And according to Dr. Steve Brusett from the University of Edinburgh, who analyzed Ingentia prima in a July 2018 article by the BBC, this speaks to just how incredible these animals were. Still, Ingentia prima apparently had some traits in common with its later descendants Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus like its herbivorous diet, for instance, and the fact that it walked on four legs. It's thought, though, that the creature's neck and tail were somewhat smaller than those of its more famous relatives. And, interestingly, the way in which Ingentia prima achieved its giant size appears to be different from those observed in later dinosaurs. In fact, by studying growth rings in the creature's bones, experts have been able to determine that Ingentia prima grew in concentrated spurts over time, rather than in the constant manner found in other species of dinosaur. Furthermore, according to researchers, Ingentia prima exhibited a respiratory system similar to that of a modern bird, with special air sacs located inside its body. This allowed the dinosaur to regulate its temperature, as well as giving it access to large stores of breathable air. Eventually, then, Ingentia prima is thought to have grown so big that it was at least two times the size of the other herbivorous creatures that shared its savanna-like habitat. And because it was so large, no other dinosaurs posed a threat. In fact, a Triassic relative of the modern crocodile is thought to have been its primary predator. Gigantism is an evolutionary survival strategy especially for herbivorous animals, because size is a form of defense against predators Appledetti would go on to explain to Reuters in July 2018. However, Ingentia prima's method of growth may not have been overly successful. This strategy was not used again in the history of dinosaurs, the paleontologist added. 
Meanwhile, during the excavation that unearthed in Gentia Prima, the archaeologists recovered four skeletons in all one representing the new dinosaur, and three fossils belonging to a similar species. As a group, they have therefore been dubbed the Lesamsarids. And for paleontologists, the discovery has shown a light on how some dinosaurs grew to such a colossal size. We see in Ingentia Prima the origin of gigantism the first steps so that, more than 100 million years later, sauropods of up to 70 tons could come into existence like those that lived in Patagonia Appledetti told Reuters. Of course, Ingentia Prima is only the earliest giant that has been discovered, it's possible, then, that even older dinosaurs of immense size might be uncovered in the future. And with the Argentinian team's discovery subsequently changing dinosaur lore, there could be some even more fascinating revelations to come. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.